Yeah, Evan Royster came off the board a little bit earlier than expected, but you know, when you look at Washington, they have a great understanding of the running back position, and, and they see something in Royster that maybe some of us don't see. He is a hard runner. There's no question about it. He dances very little. He gets north and south. And talk about production. This guy was a career rushing leader at Penn State. It's not Slippery Rock Tech. This is Penn State. They've had some pretty good backs <laughs> throughout the, you know, the history of Penn State. And, and the fact that he's been able to amass this number of yards, he obviously is very instinctive and tough. More than 3,400 yards rushing in the last three years, Trey. Well, just look at those names. Kurt Warner, Blair Thomas, Curtis Enos. How about uh, Lytle Mitchell? Uh, some his some of the names. And then, Ty, you notice his value is coming as a receiver. Excellent hands out of the backfield, and Mike Shanahan will take advantage of that. It's John Beck is the new quarterback. They've addressed wide receiver heavy, Hankerson, Paul, and then Aldrick Robinson. They added Roy Hildew Jr. Now they add Evan Royster. So uh, Royster's ability to catch the football, I think, could push him on to that roster. Uh, you were talking about uh, wide receivers. Let's take a look at Aldrick Robinson. We've had some playmakers out of SMU the last couple of years here, Todd. Yeah, back-to-back -back picks for the Redskins, Mel. Aldrick Robinson, to me, this is a great pick. He has a versatility, explosiveness. He doesn't have great experience in the return game, but I think he has a chance to be one of the best return specialists of this class. He runs in the 4 threes. We're at a 4 3 9 this year. He is quick. He's explosive. He can get down the field vertically. I'm surprised he's still on the board, and I think the Redskins got one of the real sleepers in this year's class. Played with the same one of the same offense in that wide receiver core with Emmanuel Sanders right. last year. Third round pick in the Steelers. They like what Emmanuel Sanders is capable of doing. And big catches forward. for him. They did a good job for them. And certainly uh, this kid's not Emmanuel Sanders. No. We know that. But he's got an awful lot of ability. And then you look at a guy that we thought, Todd, could be maybe a fourth round pick. I felt like maybe he has to move to wide receiver, slot position, return game. That's Tyrod Taylor out of Virginia Tech. You got